Good morning. I'm Derek, and I wanted to talk about fan game and paint Friedrich Luther's bag over here. I may have fallen in love with tanks. It's a rescue. Okay, and so we wanted to add yellow to one bag and red to the other. And talking about the latest update on fan game, I have started working on adding the you know the simulated Emperor, I'm not, I got the wrong stamp because it's here. I'm simulating the Emperor's Tarot, which will, so when you start a game, you'll be starting at an age. At, right now it's the uh, age of the scouring. And I throw up, I mean, I put on screen, excuse me, three, uh, you know, virtual cards. And uh, I've only got one right now, which is based on the Hierophant. And what I'm hoping is that I'll have 78 eventually. I've got two. I've got two because I've got the Hierophant and I have his reverse side. So which will be, you know, a reverse Hierophant. What I got to do now is I got to define 10 or 12 variables that I then will create a script called, you know, something like, you know, State of the Empire. And this script will read from whatever the, uh, whatever the, the card's variables are and change it, you know, change things. So the Hierophant is obviously, you know, represents the Ministorum and the priesthood. So the priesthood card means that a bunch of good things are going to happen to the priesthood. And I think each card, you know, um, it will affect the galaxy as a whole more so than individual player, but I'm going to use them for the individual player too, because I'm kind of hoping I can also use them for the characters. So like if the character is a high ranking Ministorum priest, you know, if that card comes up in game creation, then that's one of the starting characters. That's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure how that's, it sounds good. If I'm explaining it right, if I could explain it right. So I plan to have a bunch of these cards. Um, I'm going to start after I after I define all these like ten or twelve variables. Like I don't even know. I'm gonna have to go and dig out like a whole bunch of old books and just go for inspiration. Focus and focus. Sorry. I got, I got my first rhino in the mail. It's a rescue rhino. Oh, he was in bad shape. And it's just beautiful. Um, he was glued very wobbly. I'm not going to criticize the original owner. Okay, uh, maybe they, I think they gave up kind of halfway through. Anyway, I'm just really enjoying painting my first tank. Never thought... You know, I was never a vehicle or a bikes guy, but really enjoying it. And so it's a dedicated transport for these guys. I have to go by and clean up. I've um, made a mess. And, yeah, the bag's too red now, but what we'll do is we will give it, like, a white brush, a little white dry brush, and... I was 
very dangerous. I was using two different colors at once. So I've got to make sure I'm putting on the right, the right cap. It's worse than that because there are different sizes. I can easily drop the yellow into the red again. I mean, it's possible. I don't think I've explained the tarot cards, how they'll work very well. So, I'll throw up these cards and, you know, one's the Emperor and one is the Shadow on the Warp. And the one is, you know, the Orc. And, and the Orc is reversed. And, and I'll give it a bunch of modifiers so that this will say, oh, well, the Orcs are in this... In this uh, the, the opposite of ascendancy. And they are... Every wah will be affected by this. So it's uh, it's like a um, self predict self fulfilling prophecy i'm uh, i'm prophesying or not prophesying uh, the, the i'm randomly decide the game's randomly deciding what's happening and then we're going to make it happen real so i'm about halfway done i think with my tank very happy with my first magnetizing job so a bit fell off while i was painting the flag's there, right, because it's hot. So they, um, they keep the doors open. And so they have the, the flag over as kind of a, like a, a flap. So yeah, that's what that's about. That's what I was thinking, at least. I don't want to say it. I know that they, they look like insect pelts. They're not insect pelts. They're... It was my first tank. I've made. I learned a lot from all the mistakes. I'm glad that I started with a practice tank. What's next for the game is um, I've been talking to a couple of artists and a writer, and we've been talking about events. And oh yes, the uh, the minor sweets on the cards. I'm hoping to borrow some ideas. I'm hoping to borrow some ideas from other games, not necessarily games, workshop games, but where uh, the, the the cards tell a little story. Yeah, yeah, sort of like a little story. Uh, one through ten, so, you know, the first scene of the story, the second scene of the story, unlike that. And um, so I just have to, uh, you know, come up with a few stories and then... I can have more than just four sweets. So, all right. Thank you very much, and thanks for listening to my rambling.